sometimes I feel like a broken record about wanting to just, you know, prioritize being happy and like uh -huh. not letting your career take over your whole life and all this kind of shit. And that was the trip where I was kind of like, I have to do that because this was last summer and it was like right before, I mean, I think I had just, I had filmed the special and I had filmed the movie. Was that a special? Uh, Fat Rascal. Fat Rascal. Damn, so I I'd fi I filmed Fat Rascal and I filmed Let's Start a Cult in theaters October 25th. Go we're, see we're it. We're done. We're going to do a lay-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do a lay-in after <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but I had just done that and then I had, um, and then I had like more dates left, right? Like I still had like dates to do and yeah. I remember just like, and I felt so unhealthy and I was just like running my body fucking ragged and we had been to Amsterdam before. Me and George, for old time's sake, had stopped over in Amsterdam. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and we got mushrooms there. And we were like, we're going to take mushrooms on the beach. And so I'm in Thassa. in Greece? In Greece, yeah, yeah. Took them with you? Took them with us. How'd you yeah, transport yeah. them? Were you worried? No. Not really. Nice. It's fucking Europe. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nice. Put them at the bottom of a bag with a bunch of treats and no one gives a fuck. Okay. Um, People are always asking, how do you transport them? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't really I think just, about it like I, that. What I did was I put them in a bag. <laughs> I took the bag with me. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, and so I'm so I'm on this trip, and my cousins. It's a beautiful wedding. The I'm, I'm, we rented these great little fucking houses, and uh, there's a beach that's a five minute walk from where we are, and it's gorgeous. You have these fucking beautiful trees. A restaurant so good, we ate at it. We tried it once, and we were like. We're coming back That's it. every day. Oh, I love that. We're like, You're what like, are we looking for? We it just was found so paradise. So incredible. Well, we're talking wow. fresh calamari, fish caught that day. The fucking meat was incredible. Different stuff on the menu, so you could try different. It was, it was great. And we had this little area with like, and I'm with my best friends, right? Eldis, my buddy George, like, um, you know, uh, just like, it's great. Every, an idyllic situation. My mom and grandma are even like in the, on the island. I see them. I spend time with them. Everything's good. And I'm on mushrooms and I'm just like, I'm so unhappy. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, this is great. But this is, when I go back to my life, I don't want to do this anymore. I feel so unhealthy. I'm barely like, you know, I'm getting so much weight. I'm here and this is good. But all I can think about is all the shit I have to do. And While how, you're on mushrooms in paradise. Yeah. And that's when I was like, dude, if this is how much, and all this stuff is good for me, and what I have to, what, when I'm, what, all what stuff is good for you? It's dude. It was a, I was about to go promote the special, and oh, I was right. gonna. I sold happened. out the beacon three times, and wow. I couldn't. I couldn't wait to do it, and all this stuff. But I was like, I'm not celebrating any of this. I'm not enjoying any of this. It's all just an obligation. And that was the start of me being like, damn, what something's got to fucking change, and then. Obviously, I had I had to do it. I had to do all those things, so I couldn't change my life like that. But that that put the seed in my mind where I was like, the next time I come to Greece, I'm not gonna feel this way, because it reminded me of some of those trips when I was a little kid, where I was like, all this shit is weighing on me, all my family shit, and all this other stuff that's like, and it's like Greece had always been. I finally got Greece to be well, the wanted. best place yeah. on earth for me, and like a real escape. And I was like. I'm, if if I'm letting these all these things affect me here, it's like, what the fuck is the point? So wait, so you're you're on the beach just walking, it's hitting you, and then I'm sure first it's some giggles, whatever, and then it hits you with the which I call the capital T truth. Yes, yes, you yes, know? yes, yes. Which has hit me a lot. That's happened to me a couple times on mushrooms. Yeah, it's like it's the it's reason like I started that other down. relationship. By the way, I was like, who are you kidding? You in love with this girl? Go date her. <laughs> that was I had that mushroom trip in Seattle, like you know, four years before or whatever. But yes. And it's just like, I see it now per as perfectly as possible. And it's almost like- I've I, been kidding myself, yeah. but it's always been right under the surface. And I'm just going to peel back that little surface layer. Anything that mushrooms tells you is like, hey, you're going to have to deal. You should deal yeah. with it. Yeah. It's not just like, I happen to think about yeah, that. Yeah, unless it's it tells like, you you're gay every time. That you can push down. <laughs> but yeah, anything else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, once you get past that. <laughs> so you had this thing of like, fuck, why am I unhappy? I was just like, because you yeah. definitely shouldn't have been, and no one could understand that. Yeah, and like, I also felt mean? bad because it. And Sagalo looks at you and it's like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? I'm right, looking at right, you, and it's right, like, right, wow, right, what amazing right. time. Yes, but the reality is, is, remember that poem of the guy who everybody liked? Oh yeah, yeah, Pagliacci or whatever, or like that joke 
Where he's like, but doc, but doctor, I am Pagliacci, the clown, that gay clown or oh, whatever. No, it wasn't that oh, one. No, it was no, this no. guy who was the envy of all the women and all the men. Oh, no, no. And he was so cool. And then, and then, and then, and then one day he put a bullet in his brain. <laughs> and everyone's like, what? He had everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, for me it was more like um, the coward suicide of just getting fat as shit. <laughs> but it was like, it was a slow moving bullet. Take the Ralphie way back. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. And yeah, I just saw that. I was like, that's my future. If I don't stop, I couldn't stop for a while. Like I had that realization last summer and it took a while. You know what I mean? Well, you like, got to tie up loose ends. You I had to tie up all the loose over. ends. I had to, I had to, I mean, it took me until February to really like clear everything out. Cause I had to, prom- the special was in December. I had to fucking promote that. And then I had makeup dates in February uh, from being sick sometimes and not doing, mm. you know what yeah. I mean? But, but that's sort of what, what led me to, you know, this, Perfect place to do it too. You're with friends, yeah, and you're on a beach, and it's beautiful out. And that's the other so thing. perfect. Like all that shit's out of the way, yeah. and now I can just I can just think. And and it's also like you feel so alone. You're around your best friends, and you can't even describe what's happening. And and you look and you seem happy. And I kind of had to fake it a little bit too. You don't want to be like I'm going. I'm having a freak out. Cause you don't ruin their magical <laughs> trip, so I'm just like in the. I'm just like, oh yeah, guys, and I'm just like freaking the fuck out, like fuck, you know, going in the water and staying in the water with like goggles on, to, to cry like, underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one can see my tears. Just surrounded freaking by them. the fuck out, being like fuck, dude. I love a fucking f- mushroom sad. Yeah, it was tough, man. I, with Fahim, I had this experiment where I'm like, he's never smoked or done mushrooms. I'm like, hey, I want you to be the first to do mushrooms before you smoke weed. Whoa. And he was like, and every time, like, don't smoke weed. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. get you on. And he did, but he had this moment where all at Benji's grandma's beach house in Malibu. Great place. And um, this moment where he thought about his parents and how they're getting older. And he goes, oh, they're going to die. Oh, everybody dies. Oh, everybody dies. And then just swims oh, down. Oh, my God. And dude. he came back fine, but it Good. was an hour of yeah, yeah. just crying. Holy shit! Yeah. Damn. And Ben's just like, "What are we doing?" I'm like, "I think he's gonna ride it you gotta out." Let him. Yeah, you gotta let him ride it out, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So then you you took that, but you man you managed to maintain that after you sobered up. Yeah, I mean, that it was thought. all it was also something that I could feel. I mean, it wasn't like that, but it was just like this is affecting me so much. I can't even enjoy these moments. It's like it was just it was like happiness was completely right. zapped out of my life. Wow. And it was like that's what it really I knew it. I don't get me wrong, you didn't have to be a fucking scientist to know I was getting too unhealthy. I, every month I would just weight, gain weight and just my I would you know be fu- high as shit and eat like shit and 40 pounds down right now. I'm 40 pounds down right that's now. Great. I, I need to do a little more, but I want to stick I just want to feel healthier. That's all it is. So, you know, Greece has just been very important to me and So then uh, what? So you just said like, "Hey, wrap up these things and then don't go on the road don't get I haven't been on the new. road I haven't been on the road since February I'll do tires because that's my buddy yeah I'll do tires and I will go on the road next year yeah but I told myself at least a year to set up these habits and I feel now I feel ready for the road because also I wasn't I wasn't ready for that level of touring I didn't know what I was what was about to happen now I felt it I'm also going to spend money on like you know I'm doing a bus so that I don't, I can wake up in a city and like Dude, work out and rules. like yeah, and I'm gonna I th- I'm gonna try I'm hiring I want to hire a buddy to come and like be the fucking nutrition coordinator and like Nate go, has that go buy shit Nate and has like that haircut and nutritionist yeah. and workout guy in one I I need that dude yeah. I need I mean I, that'd be great if I could get that guy and, <laughs> if yeah. and if it's a buddy it's just like summer camp exactly so I'm it's hoping part of the part of the like hey openers that's my buddy he's cool <laughs> yep yep. So yeah, I'm hoping to just find all that shit and like, just again, it's not about making money. It's about yeah. if I could leave a tour and not feel like and feel energized instead of I want to kill myself. Yeah, it that's should be worth like all that the was money amazing. in the world. Let's, exactly. let's have a good, let's have a drink or two. Yeah, fuck, that was great. Let's go home and refresh instead of like, oh, what's next? Yeah, that's exactly. Not, dude, I literally have this talk with Diaz. Did it first. Yeah. Then me, and then I tried to prepare. He Diaz warned me. And then I just try to warn all my friends yeah. of like, hey, you get no dates for a decade. Finally, you get a couple dates, yeah. like on the road. And then 
suddenly it's three weeks on, a week off, three other weeks, and then the DC Improv. Like right. I always wanted to go yes, to. Like yes, we got yes. that one middle week. Oh, sick! I've always wanted I'll this. Take it. But then you don't realize that's seven straight weeks, mm -hmm. and your Jews aren't going to help you out on this one. Yeah. They're just going to get you working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're. Yeah. It's going to be like oh shit. I have too an much. Italian, but yeah. But he's a Jew. <laughs> my, my Jew's not a Jew either. My Jew's not a Jew. Either. It's the Jew arts though. <laughs> you know. Sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. And um. And you got to pull back and be like, mm -hmm. I want to enjoy this. What's my line? And yeah. everybody goes through it. Yeah. And so I feel pretty, I don't want to sound, again, I'm almost like a broken record. I don't want to sound un ungrateful. Yeah. And I'm happy it's now. Not I feel really happy now. And I feel like, yeah, I can't wait to do Tires. We're about to film that right yeah. now. I can't wait for people to see Let's Start a Cult. I'm really proud that, I mean, I'm working on just being happy about stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, man. If nothing else happens for me, I had an incredible career. Like I made a, I had two, I had two specials, one self-produced, one on Netflix. I made a, I started a movie. People try, people are actors that try to do that. They're it's you're an already, indie. Your your resume is already in, and you're still building it. I'm good, man. I yeah. like, and I want to, I want to be like, this is great. I've been, you know, I'm. What a healthy way to think about it. That's it's just like everything is icing on the cake from now on, and I just want to do fun things. I'm so grateful that you know they put me on tires, and it's so fun to work with those guys, and. And then, and then even stand up. I'm approaching now is like, I can't wait. I haven't written the new hour. I've written like 15 minutes. I'm so excited to come up with the new hour and work on it in the fall, and then workshop it in front of people who, like, I want to go work on it in New York, yeah. and in random places for the next couple months, like in between filming tires. And then I'm excited to take it out on the road and have it grow and build and put I'm, it on a big show for people put it on a big show really try super hard sell that material and then i'm not in a rush to put it out as a special i want to let and let that marinate a little bit take it out and then take it out maybe i'll go to europe and see how different people appreciate it go to australia and not oh tour it for a while tour it for a while for oh, yeah. a while and then take a break try it in new york as 15 minute chunks like really put it through the ringer and really have Bro, a my, fun time my jew hour was like covid hit i was supposed to record it didn't then covid hit and then and then um so that's six months off yeah. you know whatever and then i'm doing other material then i came back to it like a year later yeah, it, it's yeah. so much stronger yeah to be like oh this joke's too long totally. oh, this joke's almost the same as that when joke. you it's get to different... when you get to see it through fresh eyes uh -huh. you're not emotionally invested yeah. so anyway i'm really i'm actually in a weird place where i feel happy <laughs> are you okay with it i feel yeah it's awesome it's great and that's why i'm like i can't i even went to I actually so i was working in london briefly this summer yeah. and i had four days off and i went to greece because i had four days off and there was a direct flight and i went to corfu for just four days and it was just beach didn't know anyone beach chill food and i was like you know what man i'm busy i have a lot of stuff coming up but i don't feel that way again and it felt like a real victory, man. It really did. It really felt like, even though I have stuff that could give me that same anxiety, yeah. I don't feel that way. I feel more in control of my life. I feel I'm excited about the projects I'm doing. Um, you're choosing the right things. Just choosing but the right things. But also you were choosing the right things before. You were just letting it No, I wasn't. I was, over, I was overbooking myself. Oh, okay. I, even though right, they were I'm the right things. I'm just thinking about the lyric and the beacon. Yeah. I'm not thinking about all the other. All the other, yeah. all the other theaters I did between those and, like, and how I felt the need to, you know, Promoting your special is important, but I didn't need to promote it as much as I did. I need to go. I went cross country. I went like New York, L.A., Austin, Chicago. I didn't need to do that in a week. That's so bad for your body. It's like, hey, you could have missed out on a podcast or two. Yeah, it's fine. Or also these days, you're like, hey, my special's out January first. Can I come in November and just sure bank one? Exactly. Who gives exactly. A fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm putting out these from fucking two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I told Sloss I'm like, I need to report. I was like, for what? Yeah, like, the podcast we did was. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's so You're so irresponsible. Funny. I've forgotten about That's that completely. That's hysterical, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, when this comes out in 2028, we'll be doing the sequel to Let's Start a Cult. Where you been and where you going? This is Ari's travel show, yeah. We're gonna go on a journey today. See what there's to see in this big world. We're exploring different places seeing all different types of faces we're gonna talk about travel today it's you be true